Thanks for your company. We're going to return now to our top story. A violent volcanic eruption has rocked Tonga. The blast so big it was seen from space and the entire region there has now gone quiet with communication knocked out. It's triggered tsunami warnings. This confronting video shows the impact of those swells. Lavinia Taumoi Piao Latu was on the phone to her husband in Tonga when the line went dead and she joins us now from Salt Lake City. In the United States of America, Lavinia, terrible situation. Tell us what happened last night, please. Well, um, at first, we had been talking previously about how it had been raining and things like that. I kept seeing information. But last night, um, my husband uh, sent me a message on uh, Messenger and said, oh, there's loud explosions coming from the volcano. And then he tried calling me. When I picked up, he started telling me about the loud explosions and he was like, can't you hear it? Can't you hear it? And um, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys be safe. But he said it was so loud, like the windows, he thought the windows were going to break in the house. Oh. And um, and then after that, then shortly after we started talking, then it started uh, the sulfuric acid or the pebbles started coming from this guy. And he was like, oh, it's raining, but it's not really rain. It's like rocks. Oh. And I was like, what? And then he, um, from that point, he started to tell me. But when he was showing me on the video, it was still a little light out, but it was very, it was starting to look really gloomy. And then um, after we started talking for a little bit, then I hung up and I told him, oh, let me call you back because he wanted to record some of it. And then um, after he actually recorded it, then he called me back and it was already dark, dark out. And he was like, it is like as dark as midnight right now. And this is like at six o'clock, but it usually doesn't get dark until like much later. Yeah, it's terrifying. Wow. And the, did the phone cut out while you were, were talking to him? Have you been able to speak to him since? So we talked for a little bit and we kept talking about what was going on. And um, he was going to actually run and grab something, oh, some batteries from the store. Because I told him to get some batteries for the radio. <clears throat> and then, because um, that's how usually the radio is how everybody gets information from, um, you know, the government or when a tr uh, disaster strikes. Um, he was going to run, but then he had heard on the radio they were um, advising people to stop trying to drive into town because the people in town were trying to drive um, towards the central and eastern districts um, so that they can get away from the coastal areas in town mm. and um, and there's only one main road that where you can actually evacuate so there was a, a long um, there was a long queue well, that... in the in the road for people trying to escape. How hard is it for you to, to be seeing these images from your beautiful home country? It is very difficult. Um, I actually was there when uh, TC Gita touched down in 2018 and ended up um, getting hired on as the safety and protection cluster coordinator for the Ministry of Internal Affairs. And so we did coordinate like uh, the response and the recovery um, after the cyclone. And so I know I was like kind of trying to like play it out in my head, what everybody's doing, what steps the government is taking, um, what kind of meetings that they're holding, the assessments that they're going to be planning to do today. And I mean, I feel like the people um, the National Emergency Management Operations Team and the committee is, they're really equipped and so is uh, His Majesty's Armed Forces to respond to um, disaster. But I feel like the tsunami is a little bit uh, different because um, I think there's going to be much more damage that they're going to be looking at in terms of infrastructure as well as um, the vegetation. Yeah, well, the Aussies are never far away at times like this also. Um, Lavinia, we wish you all the best, obviously, and hope you're reconnected with your family as soon as possible. We're thinking of you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we
we are back now with the latest on those tsunami warnings from Australia to the United States. And that there that you are seeing is a helicopter. The situation in California. Local authorities there warning swimmers and beachgoers out of the water in Orange County. Yeah, the Tongan volcano eruption has been felt in countries right across the Pacific. Let's go to US correspondent Michael Genovese, who's in Malibu. Jenna, uh, there's been minor flooding in parts of the states, we understand. Yeah, good morning, guys. And that tsunami advisory is still in place right up and down the California coast at the moment, even as far north as certain parts of Canada as well. We're being told to expect a higher than normal tide and surge after surge of these waves that would be between one and three feet higher than normal. Um, probably where it's been felt the most is in the small uh, surfing community of Santa Cruz, where those surges have taken place and the local harbour there has actually been completely swamped with water residents have been told that it's time to pack up and leave there. We're in Malibu at the moment where people have been told to stay away from the water's edge. Other than that it's a pretty normal day here. Even some surfers are deciding that it's worth the risk to try and catch as many waves as they can and make the most of the conditions but that is certainly going against the advice that we're getting from the experts here. There's coast guards and uh, beach patrols all up and down the sand this morning and we're seeing them even from that helicopter that we heard from earlier where coast guard actually has uh, megaphones telling surfers that hey there is a scenario army advisory in place and it's not safe for you to be in the water at the moment. And Jenna, we know there have also been evacuations in South America. Yeah, so there's um, those evacuations in Chile where a small fishing community has actually been swamped and those warnings have been going on all uh, morning telling people that it's not safe to be anywhere near the water. It's a small um, fishing village that actually faces the Pacific, so obviously the danger there is pretty clear. But there's also uh, advisories in place as far as Japan as well, still feeling the effects of this. Uh, we're told by experts here in California that that advisory will remain in place uh, until there's three hours uh, without a storm surge or without a, a water surge reaching the coastline. So experts are telling us that they're hoping, their fingers crossed, that we'll get the all clear at some point this afternoon. Yeah, let's hope so. Michael Genovese there in Malibu, thank you. Welcome back. As we go to air this morning, there are tsunami alerts in place for Australia, New Zealand, Japan and the United States. Beaches along our east coast have been closed after a violent volcanic eruption off Tonga. Let's first go to today's Sydney reporter, Beth and Yeoman. Beth, the red flags have just gone up at Bondi. Yeah, that's right. We've just seen lifeguards set up signs all the way along the beach warning of dangerous surf. They're telling people to get out of the water, but no word yet on those who are simply sitting on the beach. The entire beach was evacuated last night around 10.30 by police and SES, but it was reopened this morning. Red and yellow flags went up indicating that it was safe to swim. They have quickly been taken down. Nippers has been cancelled, and we are right now waiting on an update from the Iron Man series, which is due to take place further down the beach today. I am told they are working closely with the Bureau of Meteorology and are hoping to recommence the competition at midday if uh, warnings are taken down.